What happens to the Congress party, uh, uh, Rashid Kidwai? Three consecutive defeats, 15 years out of power. And while they may get 70 seats as, as per our poll, that could even come down to 40-50 if the BJP goes up by 20-30. Where does that leave the Congress party? Can it hold together with a third debacle? Yeah. I think, uh, uh, Rajdeep, uh, it may sound a bit, uh, bit odd and bizarre, but the Congress would be very happy to uh, know Yashwant uh, Deshmukh's you know, uh, finding and mood of the nation that Congress is getting 71 Lok Sabha seat. It will give them a formal position of leader of opposition in the Lok Sabha. <laughs> Remember, Congress is very easily satisfied party and that's the one reason why it is going down. On the other side, you know, when Bharat Jodo Yatra, and this is a very big lesson for Rahul Gandhi, when Bharat Jodo Yatra was started first phase, it was thought that the, with that Yatra, uh, Rahul Gandhi, would, uh, Congress would be able to increase, uh, you know, its uh, vote percentage by 3 to 4 percent. They were actually uh, hoping for 25 percent. So it's a very bad news that Congress is not getting vote percentage, no increase in vote percentage. I think individually in states there will be breakaway Congress factions because nobody wants to be in a position forever. You know, Amitabh, your big takeaway from these uh, numbers, clearly it shows two months before the election, uh, perhaps as I said, more than any other election, a dead certainty as to who the winner is. I can only compare it with January 2019. January 2019, which is the best comparison to make, the Congress had just won three states in North India, and the poll suggested a tightening of the contest. The India Today mood of the nation actually suggested a tightening of in the fact, contest. A coalition government for the NDA. A, a potential coalition government for the NDA. Now we are seeing a clear majority for the BJP. What's your big takeaway? Is Indian politics heading towards some kind of a dominant party system or is it about Prime Minister Modi being this domineering leader? So BJP is of course attaining the poll position which Congress used to acquire during the 1950s to 1990s. At that point of time, Congress was competing mostly against regional parties. Here we have BJP competing mostly against regional parties because regional parties uh, uh, tally is 168 seats. BJP is increasing its vote share. Congress is holding on to its vote share and all its gains are coming at the cost of regional parties. In fact, in fact, the story, Rahul, for me is again, once again, that. that remember, 186 seats, roughly 186 seats, direct contest in 2019, Congress versus BJP. Congress won just 12. BJP won most of those seats by double digits. Nothing has changed. It's almost as if the Congress is where it is, comatose in a way electorally and the BJP is growing and no, because you, they're not listening and, and and the other factor which is also in a way worrying is the north-south divide the BJP dominating North India dominating West India dominate, doing even very well in the east it's only the south which seems to be marching to its own beat you know, and I wonder what the implications of that will be long term if the Congress had any good sense and I'm not at this moment certain that the people who do are looking so obsessively at this election in the way that the BJP is. They should sit into a room, Messrs. Kharge, Rahul Gandhi, Uddhav Thakre, Sharad Pawar and say, let's thrash out the Maharashtra seat sharing formula before we leave. Sit from morning till evening, go seat by seat, thrash it out, compromise and do the same for Telangana, figure out who your candidates are, get on the ground. Instead of just spattering your ammunition all over the place, focus on their... No, folk, but they're not even invited, Rashid. That's the problem. No, Each no, of those leaders are saying... Because Rahul Gandhi is there, so they need to... But what is, I, no, what, what, is, what, what is more important, sitting and fighting and trying to win the few seats you have an opportunity of winning, or this yatra which only See, seems I to be mean, causing can, trouble... Can I, can I, can I, I make an even more controversial point? point? Which is what? If I was the opposition today and I saw your numbers and the mood of the nation and all of us predicting the inevitability or the probability of the outcome, I would actually see one opportunity, and that is focus on state elections. There are going to be, look, there's a Lok Sabha election which the outcome seems inevitable. It's about whether... No, but you cannot, if you're in the opposition, you cannot take my, it as inevitable. No, my, you have to fight the election. No, you have to fight, can, I, that's why I said it's a contentious point. The, I would put my, I have 100 rupees in my pocket. I would put at least 80 rupees of that into state elections. There's Haryana, there's Maharashtra, there's Jharkhand, there's Bihar next year, then there's a series of other elections. Look, in the Lok Sabha, you can pick up, give, I'm only going by the mood of the nation, uh, uh, Rahul, you can pick up 20, 30 seats by what you're saying, better seat adjustments, do a little bit in Maharashtra, work out your numbers. You should do that, of course you should. Every election has to be fought. 
But when I look at the priorities, my uh, concern for this kind of opposition is that they seem to not even be able to pick up, get their act together often in state elections. Maharashtra is a good example. There's an election in Maharashtra in September, October. You win Maharashtra, you're, you, you, know, you lift the morale. Imagine what happens if you lose Lok Sabha badly and then also you uh, suffer a debacle in Maharashtra and Haryana. Eventually, and, and don't forget, Karnataka, the government could be on notice given the yeah. kind of numbers that we are showing. Telangana, the Congress has a small majority. So, you know, the Congress Mukt Bharat or an opposition Mukt Bharat is in a way a reality if these numbers hold on. I would say focus on state elections, get your act together and I agree with you. At the moment, you should be sitting across a table, working out seat sharing, working out some kind of plan. I don't see that, which is why I think Yashwant has underestimated the BJP. My numbers are, I did my own polling, 340 plus BJP, 370 plus ND Alliance. I'm not ruling out even a bigger number than that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the way I see it. I believe that the opposition is totally no, but despondent. Rashid Kidwai, are we seeing a phenomena similar to what we saw during the Gujarat Assembly elections, where because of what Rajdeep is saying, because of what others in the opposition seem to be thinking, the opposition just gives up the fight. Like the, when I traveled through Gujarat in the last assembly election, the opposition, the Congress wasn't even in the fight. AAP was trying to put up some fight. See, it's a self-perpetuating prophecy. If you don't fight, your opponents do even better. The BJP ended up with 154 out of 182. If the Congress had fought harder on every seat in every region, they may have done better. You give up the fight thinking, you take what Rajdeep is saying seriously, say because the opposition takes what he's saying very seriously, if they start taking what he's saying seriously, <laughs> and not fighting this Lok Sabha election no. and preparing for the assembly election, jitna bura pitting ho, usse aur pit jayenge. No, Rao, that that too late, too late. Rao, ye sab hona no, chahe tha, no, chhe mahine pahle. You see, the biggest problem with this opposition in 2024 is, there is no sense of ownership. There is regional parties and there is Congress. When you talk about Congress, there is an official AICC president, Malikarjun Karge, and there is a, you know, uh, Rahul Gandhi who represents the political leadership of the Congress. Now, each, you know, person... <laughs> so what does Karge represent with, then? He, he's a Congress president, but he, he, he lacks that kind of, you know, political leadership. That's what I'm saying. There is no sense of ownership. Not and political leadership, tragedy. political authority. He's not been yes, given the no, political but, uh, authority. 